just got to set prices by March. <laughs> I don't know. 5 521 and uh, oh, 421 and 450, isn't it? 450. Yeah. 450 being uh, NAVGAS or JET? I think it's yeah, I think I think it's JET, but I won't swear yeah. to it. I'd have to. I'd have to go look to see. I really don't know. Jerry told me what they were. And that was based on what was the last purchase of fuel? No, uh, that wasn't based on the last purchase of fuel. That was based on the fact that we weren't selling. We needed to lower the prices to get people to buy it because we were so much higher than everybody else. That's, that's probably less than we paid for it. Okay, let me rephrase that. Yeah, our last, our last purchase, we bought it on the high end. We, we only buy, what, two or three times a year? Am I right by saying that? No. So, about every six weeks or so. And during the summer. Yeah. I guess I'm saying, do we know where rates are? The, the current we're, we're trying to stay down within uh, what? Air Columbus, North we're, Vernon? We're trying to stay in uh, an average of North Vernon, Shelbyville, and uh, Columbus. Was no, Columbus? Columbus wasn't involved. Maybe Seymour. I forget not what the third airport was. Shelbyville and North Vernon and one other airport. We're trying to stay in their range. Yeah, Columbus is off the charts and prices. Yeah. We need to set rates. And then Pardon? We need to set rates set for our operations by March. So I was just curious, based on how much fuel has dropped mm-hmm. this ballpark. You, did you get my message about the electric? Yeah, I did, but I don't, you know, I just find it hard to believe that a, that a floor heater can cost $300 a month. Running run constantly. Well, I've got one running constantly in my house for my dogs too, but my my whole electric my whole house is 150. So I mean, I just, there's something somewhere another. That's, that's, that's uh, what the fell from our EMC said. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll bypass and just shut that down and, and do something different to heat that roof for a month and see what happens. Because it's certainly going to be cold for a couple more months. All right. I'll try that and see. Yeah, just have to be cold again. Yeah. Uh, well, can I ask a question? Yes, sir. On your gas, <coughs> can you contract that? Buy it in the futures, you will be locked in. I don't have to talk to have gas. I don't know if you can or not. I don't, I don't think, think so. it. I don't think you can. At least we're not using enough fuel to even qualify for that. If they would, but I haven't heard of any airports that lock in their price. It, it just kind of you take whatever they sell it for you at that time. And we have been trying to stay more competitive with the surrounding airports than uh, with the percentage off of the, the uh, gas. How often can you get gas and how small an amount can you get delivered? <coughs> that I can't answer you, but it's... Uh, I think if you get much below a... You're, you're pretty well going to pay the, the same transport price whether you get thousand gallons or seven thousand gallons. I understand the situation again. You pay high dollar for the last little gas. Mm-hmm. Now you're stuck with high price gas and everybody else buys it more frequently mm-hmm. at a lesser price and they're keeping on the retail sales. Right. But on the on the upside of it, uh, we had low price gas that we was charging higher prices for going up. So it over the run of the, the year it should balance itself out. We was making big money as it was going up because we had cheap gas, but we were still staying competitive. Now when it comes down, we need to stay with them and we're losing money, but it's we're staying competitive with other people. The solution, the solution is with Susan here. Get those other, those other several thousand operations in here, and and then you'll your gas sales will take care of itself. If that's all, meetings adjourned.